occasions it delivered and it delivered hard. One won the score tonight the rubber match the stakes could not be any higher an absolute thriller and before that we got two precursor matches we got one of the local guys the star of the Emirates is going to be in action tonight Mazahir Seydou will be making his big stage debut against Raymond's Leipinge of Latvia that will start off today's proceedings following that one we've got another huge match of significance as a man with massive strength sport pedigree Larry Wheels steps to the arm wrestling table for his professional debut and he's bitten off a big bite in schoolboy Alex Bozaikov's going to present some big big problems for him here he's a vicious top roller he hits the hand and wrist and tries to take away the strength which as we all know that's Larry Wheels calling card it's on, Loz. It's going to be exciting. I think um, I think a lot of people have come from being Larry Wheels fans for today's events, and I know there's a lot of interest in this second match, uh, the, the the first match now that's been added. That's even you know more excitement for us to get energetic about build up towards that heavyweight encounter. Two of the absolute best to do it of all time, Monster Michael Todd, and the one and only Devon Larratt. No limits, Stephen Lara. Rediscovered himself, mate. We've had some very interesting conversations with the athletes throughout this week, and none more so than our conversation with Devon today. Um, Devon sounded incredibly focused, probably the most focused that we've heard from him since the glory days of 2007 to 2012, when he was arguably number one in the world at any weight. Since that time, he's had his ups, he's had his downs, he's had serious injury. I know you know about that. He's experienced some serious setbacks in the sport, but a refocused, massive version of Devon Larratt is over in Dubai. 139 kilos of him. Right now, we're listening to the referee, going to Bill the Collins. This of six rounds. If there is a tie, we will go into a seventh round. This is also a three-foul system, meaning that they can encounter three fouls before they encounter a loss. Some of the fouls that you will be seeing will be a running foul, meaning small infractions where in position is not gained. If position is not gained, we will not stop the match unless the other competitor pins and then the match will be started and restopped. The other foul are infractions that causes position change and position gain we will stop the match and restart. There's also several other rules that come along with this. One is the shoulder cannot cross over the center line. The humerus on the competing arm cannot drop in a decline position towards the shoulder. If it does, a signal will be come up. If they do not come up, they will encounter a running foul. That will be consistent if they still do not come up. So they can't actually foul themselves out. The competitors must have a hold of the peg at all times while they're competing. While they're competing, they cannot interfere with each other. They cannot intentionally push your arms off the opponent's arm, meaning that intentional pushing them off the elbow pad. There are several other rules that come along with it, but we are going to see at the end of the sixth round who earns the right to hold this sword to be the king of the table. That's a nice looking sword. Let's go over to our on site host. Well, to all of our guests here in Dubai, to all of our audience around the world, it is a good evening and welcome from Dubai. We're live down here at the Conrad Dubai for this, the first of its kind here in the region, first of its kind here in the UAE. Welcome to King of the Table in association with the World Arm Wrestling League. 
I want to say a few thanks, not just to all those that have turned out down here and all those that have tuned in the world over, but a few thanks to all our partners and sponsors for making this one possible here in the UAE for the first time. Big thanks to Personal Record for being on board, to Rain, to The Beard Struggle, to Core Sports, to Strong Gym, to TRND, and of course, our friends at the Dubai, Dubai Arm Wrestling Club. Lots to look forward to over the course of the next uh, few hours. Plenty going on down here in Dubai. Three matches, as you've just heard, from the legend that is Bill Collins, who will, of course, be refereeing and officiating throughout proceedings. Each of those matches will equate to six rounds. In the event of a tie, a seventh round can be held. So without further ado, we are underway with match number one of proceedings. And we will welcome the athletes into the arena for this first of its kind arm wrestling show championship right here in Dubai. Who will be king of the table? Let's find out as match number one gets underway. And please put your hands together as we welcome the pride of India, all the way from India, Mazahir Saidu. Here we go, Lars Mazahir Saidu. This is the Emirates champion. His first appearance on the big stage. We'll look at the stats now. Six feet of him, 229 pounds, about 104 and a half kilos. This is a fast top roller. He's got a very, very big advantage in terms of the length of the arm. The hand and wrist is a strength for this man. And that size, that speed, is going to be the primary weapon. How much here, of super is confident, that? mate. How much of an advantage is that? with having so much size in terms of length and body weight advantage over his opponent. You know what? We're just going to see evidence of that in a moment. You can see the scale of Mazahir. You can see his size and physicality. We're going to go back to our on-site host and introduce Ray. Time now to welcome his opponent to the table right here in Dubai. And he's flown in all the way from Latvia, where he is, of course, a living legend of the sport of international arm wrestling. He is the man that they call Mr. Leapens, but you know him as Coach Ray! Here we go, ladies and gents, Coach Rowley, Ray Lipinge in the house. And what I was going to say a moment ago in answer to your question, look at the stats difference, 5-7. Look at the bicep forearm measurement, the hand size, it's all going to add up and come together. This is a clash of styles, mate. We've got a guy who favours the inside techniques. He's short, he's powerful, he wants this match to happen in a phone box. Mazahir is going to try and light him up with that speed. He's going to try and create distance and he's going to try and box around him. Try to move around the hand and wrist, expose him early and finish matches early. If my pinch makes it stop, this is off. an exciting one for me because I, I, I know Coach Ray as the coach and obviously he's been over in Dubai helping out Larry. It's great to see him get this opportunity to show what a great arm wrestler he is himself. He was really hungry, mate. He wanted the shot, wanted the opportunity. He gets it. You wonder how much emphasis Ray has been able to put on his own arm wrestling when I he's been gonna, out I there. I was actually going to ask you that because obviously the focus for him was going over there, helping coach Larry. So has he been able to focus on his own go. performance? Once we close your hands. He looks focused. We discussed earlier. A lot of nerves at this stage. The opening exchange is going to be absolutely key and to be perfectly honest if you look at the face of Lipinch he looks like a mill pond supremely calm maybe even too calm and he needs to be on his toes he needs to be awake and I do he doesn't I think he might have been waiting for a riser yeah. I actually think he was waiting for a riser so tell us about the riser what's the riser Neil? so he, he can use a platform try, basically I think we need chalk. We need chalk. He's waiting for chalk. Okay. Ray just saying there we're waiting for chalk. He wants that. And that's particularly important for Raymond Leipzig. And I'll tell you why. Because basically, he's looking to try and put the brakes on Mazza here. He's looking to try and close that gap. Keep him tight and stop the match. He doesn't want anything slipping. He wants to make there absolutely no opportunity for Mazahir to get multiple hits on him. He wants this thing to stop before it starts. You can see the length of the arms there of Seydou. He's, he's a much bigger, much longer man. Yes, he is, and, and much heavier man. And that could play a part, and 
Ray needs to make sure that there's no velocity gain, that he's not able to blast away on him. And um, for that reason, I think Ray's right to just wait to get that choke. Shows his professionalism and, and understanding. He's not letting himself be rushed. Yeah, yeah, very experienced man. Doesn't if, doesn't look if there's no uh, like he's been around the game forever, but he has. Yeah, that's a, such a minor thing. Yeah, we'll get chalk. And we'll <laughs> Great character, Ray <laughs> Lipins. He's making light of it straight away. He's saying, "Look, that's the worst thing that can happen." Right now, he just needs to collect his thoughts. He needs to be singularly focused on the job in hand, and the job in hand is Mazda here, Sedu. Making sure that he gets those brakes on him. He wants that speed to be taken away. How, how, how much is an issue like this going okay. to affect their mental state? Personally, if I was Ray, I would have waited. I think this He's is professionalism. Um, open hands. Potentially open hands. shown the wrong way from Ray. You know, he wants to make sure that, that he doesn't hold the match up. I don't think Black Michael pump. or Devon would have. Open. Would have no, open. absolutely not. I will now, show you when the distance. Close. I need these level right here. Gentlemen, no the moving. The distance in the palms is critical for Lipinch. He must keep that lower palm fed Close in as thumbs. far as he can. Do not cover the thumb. Close your hands. He's going over my thumb. He's going over my thumb. See? His hands See? are... See? Mazza here is? trying to gain height. I'll give you a freebie. That should be a foul if you cover your, his thumb. All right. Okay? Let's open back up. Open back up. A little bit of experience there There's from Ray. Just the staying calm, making sure Bill knows what's... The issue, pointing Close it out, hands. but not overcooking it. Close your hands. Do not cover the top. Go! So <laughs> and again, Mazda here with a massive drive. And that's a win for the evidence athlete. Yeah. Okay. He big, lit big, him big. up, mate. Look, at, I'd love to see the replay on that, and I think we might do. But I think Ray was looking for an inflection. He wasn't sure whether he came off the front of the pad. We we'll may see a replay on it in a moment, but you can see that confidence has drained a little bit away. Yeah. yeah. I actually just heard him say that he needs chalk. Yes. And like you said, he needed to, to wait, not let himself kind of be played into the other man's favours, if you like. I agree. And um, apart from the fact that mentally there's the there big you go. Play. There's the big hit. Yeah. Um, to be honest. That's the angle I wanted to see. Yeah, Ray right off the front of the pan. Now, that's an ominous sign for him in some respects because he needs yeah. to have his weight dug deep and hard onto that elbow, try and turn and supinate a little harder. Dig that elbow in and keep it yeah. anchored. 15 enough, seconds. We hear a 15 seconds call by Bill Collins. We hear a lot from Devon Larratt, the comment, test your frame. And there are John, times in arm down. wrestling Open when hand. you are required to Open run hand. the gauntlet Open hand. and test your frame. Make it about structure. Right Open now down. is that time for Ray Lipinge. He Open. must make it about structure. He must thumbs turn down. supinate Do not hard cover your thumb and commit. Knuckle. Confidence of Mata here through the yet. roof. Close your hands. You can tell he's low. No. That's the here with the one again, lights him up, that's two, and it's too fast. I think Ray just hit the nail on the head, he does need to go for the strap, he needs to change things up, and this is the logical point. He's only got one arrow left to fire now, and he must make sure it at least hits the target. It's two times in a row that he's not been able to stop the same attack. Nightmare scenario for, for Ray. Ray. Ray's an interesting character because he's, he's, he's very well known as a coach isn't he? in the arm wrestling community. He, he, he is, but the, the difference is when you're actually competing yourself as opposed to coaching is purely and simply that we're in a situation where he is able to view others and to spot the errors they are making. To climb out of your own presence, oh, your own Gentlemen, 15 experience seconds. experience is really difficult. And Ray, I think, is appreciative of what he needs, but I'm not sure he's confident enough with that style of arm wrestling. I don't think he's going to try and reverse and top roll Open. because he feels like Mazahir's speed would put him away early. It'll be interesting to see what style he tries to get to the strap, but he needs that strap. He needs to have an anchor point. He definitely needs some kind of different tactic now, doesn't he? Close he also thumbs. needs to commit much harder. I think he should knuckle. move to the opposite side of the pad. No moving. Close that space down. At the moment, he's a little monotechnical. No Close your hands. Go! 
Ryder. Spits him from the ring. Right. He's gone on to a roll. Oh! Great reversal from Mazza here. Sucked him into that. And as Ray heard that he was on the runner and went for the second drive, beautiful reversal from Mazza here. And Seru takes it to three. He's unassailable. Yeah, he's, he's out the blocks real quick. You could see the brakes were put on. But straight away, look at the confidence in him there as well. Yeah. He's going to be feeling good now, obviously. 3 0 in the lead. One more to guarantee it. Well, you you, you know, you, looking at what we've seen so far, the other thing that elbow bubble again, he didn't, he can't base his elbow, and that's the main problem that Ray's having here. He's struggling to base that elbow. He actually did well to put the brakes on on that occasion, but it was kind of like he was a little surprised that he had, and he didn't settle himself. And when you get into that situation, it's very important to try and base yourself and just hold your position for a moment. Strangely enough, we actually worked similar stuff today in the seconds. If you panic and drive, you run into a problem. Yeah. And that's what happened there. Now, maybe Ray can get Open his hand. head back on the game, slow everything down. If I was there in his corner, I'd be saying, take a breath, slow everything down and collect yourself. What if can he do differently to, to down, really make this Hold that now. position when he gets it. So. Don't try to attack too early. Just hold your position. Shut down the space and supinate harder. That will create much, much, a much more difficult environment for Mazza here. But now the best Close way he can thumbs. do is get it to the silver bullet match. He needs to dig in. He needs to win everything from here. That's bad odds Close at this stage, you know? Go! Confidence would be Runner. key. Stay close. Ah! Right. He's onto the runner. Now he's got the strap. Now it's interesting. Now he's got the strap, and this changes things a little bit. That lower and anchor that point is going to be a big difference for him. He's on the runner. He's got you a three foul to system to contend with. But he timed that really well. The timing there is perfect because it's on the reversal. Let's listen to. So how him. much of a difference is the strap going to make to Ray now? It could make a colossal difference, uh, but it and also down. could be an advantage for Mazza here. Mazza here, from what I've seen so far, seems no to be the more powerful athlete. He's got, we know he's got that size, we know he's got that leverage. The, the biggest problem for Ray at the moment, he hasn't managed to make this about structure. He's kept it on muscularity, he's kept Open it on hands. linear movement. Open. And to be perfectly honest, against a bigger, and potentially stronger, certainly faster opponent, that is not going to help. It's not going to do him any favours. He needs to try to make the natural leverage work for him. He needs to try to make the, the, the space much tighter to Open. shut him out, shut out Open the light hands. and close down the avenue. If he can get Mazza here Open. into, number one, Open. the A side. In Open a right here first. He can bleed him and it could make all the difference in the world. Close your thumbs. Can I get a little stronger strap? Just a little stronger He wants the strap tight. Okay, tight. No, He's no, looking no, to no, close no. down any movement potential. He needs to secure his hand and wrist. I'll I'll see how tight I'm going to let go, game. gentlemen. No moving. I, I, I think Ray should have a riser, if I'm perfectly honest. He looks Do not like close over his thumb. His close your hands. This is sort of the Okay, gentlemen, we're going to try this one more time. Open. Ray Set your elbows down and there. do not he move. Needs to, needs to base himself. Ray is very unsettled here. Halfway between techniques there, and he needs to focus 100%. That's high on his tiptoes. 80% is no good at this stage. It's 100 or nothing for a live pinch. It Close must be now. Go! Runner! Big drive. He's on the runner, but take the runner. Stay with it, Ray. Close down the space and stay with it. Don't rush now. Hold. He needs to relax and hold. Oh, don't finish. He did do. That's it. 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 He was on the running foul, but let me tell you now, the gate of opportunity just swung open yeah. big time. He managed to put a little bit of bleed in there, but he also was giving himself confidence. You got one on you. And he knows that in the strap, he can make it a match. Now, a little bit of gamesmanship <laughs> would go a long way right now, Lars. He needs to not get to too much of a dominant I'm position and make Mazza here me. feel like he's in the match a little more than he is. I guess it takes a lot of confidence to be able to do that against your opponent. It does, but there's a, there's a strength gap in that position. There's a, 
there's a familiarity gap in that position. Ray is a much more comfortable arm wrestler in the inside systems. He's much better there. So he can give ground once he gets, once he finds that shape, he can afford to give a little bit. If he goes for the kill early, Mazahi is going to feel it, he's going to let up, Open. and it's not doing him any favours. He's not Open. getting bleed he's into his arm. Like crazy. And he yeah, needs to awful. set the bleed. He needs to take the, the put the brakes on this guy and take away the confidence that Mazahir has. At the moment, still, Mazahir is in the driving seat. He needs to relax. He needs to focus. And For Mazahir, the key is holding Open. the pronation. Mustn't allow himself to be sucked into that hook. We he could almost Keep your afford to slow down a little and focus slow more down. on dominating the Open. hand and wrist. If he does that, Ray will really struggle to latch it. Thumbs down. Fascinating. No moving. Massa here quite open. Looking for the big lap drag. Close hands. Go! Ray, a little unsettled. Base yourself, guys. Big oh. Ray. Oh. Ray. Oh. 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 This oh. is good for my pitch. This oh. is really good. Needs to hold that shape. Very Ray. good for Ray. Hit. Hold that Ray. And wow. It's on now. There's Ray. one thing. Now. Amazing the difference now between the two. It, as I said, it is on okay. now. The, the, if he can make that. Oh, what have we got? Okay, he just, yeah, he just got the. Do we um, can have more chalk? chalk? Do we have chalk? Uh, yeah, we need chalk. I have my liquid chalk. Can I take it? I like to see another angle on it there. Oh, ask Adam. Mazza here stays on. Ray stays on. Looks like a pin uh, to me. That's a win in my I book. I have liquid chalk in my bag. Can his I elbow. get it? Went out. Hey, uh, so his elbow went out twice. on the pin. Bill. 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 So he's on. I didn't see it. Liquid chalk. Yeah. We need a different right. angle there. I didn't so see. Come, here, sir. come off the front you of the pot. Chalk. Yeah. Okay. Chalk. Chalk. Okay. So that that pin did not count then. No, no, no. Twice. I got liquid. I, I, I'd like to see that replay again, Lord. Yeah. Just being told. To the too. Obviously, we've got an angle on Ray's elbow there. Go ahead and go back over here. Say it again, sir. Come on. From the angle that I saw then, I couldn't see any fouls, but no, obviously we, we're not there. The angle we had didn't show anything there. Uh, I'm wondering what, okay, so what Bill Collins can do here. He's got the opportunity for the replay. He's got the opportunity for the square in the air. I think it's a good time to take it. You come off the elbow before the pin. So that's a running foul. So you guys are going to come back up. That's oh, not a win. Still round four. Yes. Mm, All right, so let's go. Now, this is important for Ray that he keeps his head because of more of greater significance, much greater significance for him here. Head. Okay. Okay. He needs to keep his head because of greater significance here is the fact that he put a bullet into uh, Mazza here. There, Mazza here. Just he's feeling it. You can see he's trying down. to shake everything out. He's feeling same that lactic match. acid build up. So this is the same match. Yeah, Thumbs the down. same pull. So Ray doesn't get that on the board, but he did get a stop. He is finding a comfort level. The strap, they're still in it. If I had one uh, piece of advice for Ray, Open. it would be that he needs to not necessarily rush for that pin. Let the match happen, and it's going to give problems to Mazza here. Mazza here, on the other hand, needs to slow himself down a little bit and focus more on getting a good position before he rushes to the side. He's looking for the Cinderella pin. He's so looking to finish this quick. Still, is it 3 0 still? Open. Yes. Does it say Open. do? Now it's showing on screen Open. 3 2. Yep. Uh, I don't believe that's the case at all. I think, I think it's a twice. Right. The first one yep. was a restart no, on a runner, and the second it. was the same. Close Obviously, hands. Raymond's got some confidence no. now. Big drive set up for Ray, found that tight spot again, needs to stay close. Now surely he's in the best possible position there. Just hold Ray, hold that's let it bleed. There we go. You can see that's the real, that's going legit, now. and that's one on the board. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Ray's going to win this match from there. He because suddenly, suddenly looks a lot more confident. He does, and he's finding his shape. Mazza here needs to change something, and potentially he might be a little scared to do it. There's a there's a point in any officer's career where they've got to wake up and think, okay, what I'm doing right now is not working, and I need to change my approach to this arm wrestling match. For Mazza here, that time is right now. He needs to base his elbow, move to the opposite side of the pad, and keep Ray outside the shoulder. I'm like, where am I? It's interesting listening to the, the athletes between the rounds. Ray is, a, is quite a, a colourful character, isn't he? Sergio. 
So right now we've got a three-one score. We get we've a got foul on this side, on the same match, and then a foul on this side. I need to know what you see. We've got to stop the match. And then we restart him. So if he gets a foul, and he gets a foul, I'm running. Yeah, yeah. I'm running. I'm not going out. I'd like to get, there's a little confusion Open. there about the scores, and I Open. would like to get official confirmation on the score, because we are seeing 2-2 two -two on the screen, but from what we were watching, it looked like two of those Open. matches were restarts. Open. I had it either 2 or 3-1, because Ray twice was told he was on a running foul. We'll try Close and find out. Exactly. I'm sure we're going to get clarification on that no shortly. Mazahir's big opportunity is now. He needs to finish this with before the strap gets more. applied. Go! If Ray makes a mistake and doesn't find the strap, it's on. Oh, but you can see Ray is oh, 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 with the win. He's excited now. Back in the match. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves an arm wrestling match. I don't care. He came Was it the runner? Ray, Raymond Lipinge. I'm okay, I'm cool, I don't care. And this is such a fascinating aspect of arm wrestling. Yeah, watch this I'm, match I'm the trying start to see. And you're thinking that Sadie's going to run away with this. Suddenly, the arm is tired. Baby. <laughs> and he said it there, foul. this is his yeah. world, he's kept it closer. I'll tell you what, that's Elbow a hot, harsh decision on Ray Lipinge from what I. I didn't see any infringement there at all. That's all right. His head, the point sauce. of his elbow remained on the pad from what I could see there. But, there wow. Some, some harsh down. decisions going on. That's a harsh decision. I, I, I believe that was a legit pin. Don't close until I no, tell no. you. We will see. But Ray, very confident. He obviously feels something. He feels he's in close the match. Your Close your hand. But apparently that, that pin did not count. We're back in the setup. Sadie Samaza here. But a reversal there, Ray, beautifully timed. Lovely reversal. Go How is that not straps. a foul? <laughs> His hands was like this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make this man suffer. That's enough. A... Like he had already. Elbow down. That's a, 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 as aggressive as you'll ever see from <laughs> 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 down only. <laughs> Mazza here there, just a great shot of Mazza here trying to reverse that. But in doing so, he overcommitted to the one shape and Coach Ray felt something and reversed him back. Took away the hand and wrist. Open. Ominous, ominous open. sign. <laughs> because that's showing a degree of lactic acid no, build up. I'll get it when, yeah. when you guys open. Open. Thumbs? Okay. I said earlier, I have Ray picked when it changed and I still do. I, I, I'm going to get it. Really? It's there for the those first few matches, he's looked okay. more confident, he's looked in more control. Okay. And you can see the confidence in himself has grown as the rounds have gone. Yeah, without a doubt, mate. I mean, what he was looking for was to try to make or try to find a position where he could get to his style of arm wrestling Open and gentlemen. put some bleed into Mazahir. Ah! He needs to do that. Elbows down. And it's get the time Elbows to down. Now. He really needs to change something, and he's not done. If you look, Mazahir, perhaps a little bit Open. of experience on the big stage. And fair, fair play to the lad. This is his first outing at this level. And he's probably got a lot of nerves, and Open. he's sticking with what he knows. But right now, that is not working for him. So he's got to focus more on the pronator. Prevent Ray from turning his wrist over. Go! <laughs> Ray again. Oh, Ray has got this done again. And there's the reversal. Runner for Mazza here. He doesn't understand, but he's on the running foul. And Ray's doing just right by not finishing. He's allowing Mazza Where? here to bleed. So the the foul, for those that don't know that, that stops Seydoux being able to win this match. He's committed to foul. Did I have it? Hmm? Did I have it? And Ray was just letting him drain his energy for Correct. time. Me? So, so runner, second, when but he got one or two. This is the oh, okay, fourth round right now. Okay. I can't understand what the down is actually saying He's got there. One. He's got two. How come back? Surely, explain, explain this to Ray's me. being told that he's on a runner. This I don't the understand round. that. From fifth, fifth this round. is still the fourth yeah, round. What round? Fifth round? Fifth round, yeah. 3-1. 3-1. Three, one. Yeah. So how many fouls? Who has? Oh. He or me? 
Okay. Interestingly, Ray is not following the score here, and I must admit, at the moment, it is difficult to do so because a couple of infractions called there, and it's hard to know from the replays we've seen how. I did not see any so infraction. Put your elbows yeah. behind my hand and set them down. We may, we may get, get another look not at move it. your elbows. So we're back into the... So I believe this is still the fifth, fifth round or the fourth round? This is the fifth round. Thumbs down. It's difficult to follow there, Lawrence, to be honest, because yeah. Ray had it at one score. I was aligned with him. He's just been told that that is not the case, and we're still in that same round. Now, I was of the opinion there that Mazza here was called for the runner. That's what Definitely I thought. Has, you even saw... But it would appear Bill that Collins Ray kind of even has been given a runner, or Ray was the only man on the runner. The shoulders are close. I don't understand that, it's because it looked like the foul was on Mazza here. Yeah. Either way, okay, Lipinch seems confident, oh, and he's down. every reason to be. He's looking composed, which is the most important thing. With all these different decisions going on, it's maintaining your Close head under that pressure, and he seems to be in, you know, no moving, to gentlemen. Absolutely hit the nail on the head, Lozzy. No moving. It's it's absolutely hands. paramount now Go! that he retains that focus. So Mazzaghi will change it. things up, but it's not going to make any difference because the arm is failing him. And, and to be honest, at this stage, Ray's just putting more and more bleeding. Mazzaghi knows now that he's in a very difficult position. I, I don't want to move Life What's the score? What's the score? 3-2. 3-2. Score is now 3-2. People two. paid a lot of money. They don't want to see six rounds. They want to see 12, I guess. Mark. Six <laughs> Ray at life inch. Uh, taking a little yeah. bit of uh, his aggression out on the down ref. Yeah. I must admit, I think he's got a little case there because it seemed very clear to me that Mother here yeah. has been given a foul. Funny enough, the elbow come up there. Yeah, Mazza here, not intentional. He's not trying to foul. It's just purely and simply that the man is fighting for his existence in the I'm match. Now that arm is exhausting. Yeah. He's losing that power that he once had in the early stages. There, there are a few options left for him, mate, at this stage. Because Mazza here, whilst he's a, a very good top roller and an excellent arm wrestler, the issue is that he doesn't really have a lot of options. He's got that one option that he goes to he knows seconds, it he's gentlemen. very good at it and he's stuck to it and at the moment Lipinge has managed to fish his wrist on two occasions so his confidence barometer is through the roof and Ray is in cruise control right now he needs to keep uh -huh. his head not be complacent <laughs> and cruise to the finish line three 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 he's know. three two down he needs to get this in the bag force the silver bullet and from there he should ah! go on to win <laughs> Open so, goal. Today is best of six, net. but if it, go, it comes to 3-3, three, three, then we do have a decider. Correct, open. yeah. So you would expect, you would expect open. Open. that Ray can go on to take the pin at this stage. Open. We may be underrating Mazza here as he got one last silver bullet in the You're tank. Open. If he has, get he needs to fire it now. Center. Leipinge has the advantage in the match, if not on the Close scorecard. Don't close your hands yet. Close your hands. Right. Ray cannot afford to be complacent. Must go! get out of that block. It's going to go to the strap. That's what he wanted. Ray was looking for that. Yeah. Let's come back, gentlemen. Let's go. That's what he was at before. And now you can see he's trying to get back to the table quickly. Yes. He's trying to bleed. Elbow down do. just to get the strap on. Interesting, Loz, because, you know, uh, we've, we've seen Ray over there doing a good job teaching Larry Wheels, no trying to get him ready, and, and a, there's been a lot of conversations around match readiness. Match, real match experience, that's something that Larry doesn't have at this stage. And what we're seeing from Larry Ray Leipinch here is the advantage that he has over Mazza okay. here in real match experience, and it's evident. Yeah, He's kept his head, even under pressure. It's been a very good performance from Ray. Well, watch, from watching those first few rounds where it looked like he was just going to be blown away, the, the transformation has been huge. Elbow down. And to be honest, you would expect at this stage, barring acts of miracle, he should go on to win this match. He should secure the match because I know, I know. 
Open. He's got a more complete you, you close again, range. I'm going to give you a foul, okay? He, he loves the strap. He's in the strap. And he's facing a very depleted opponent at this stage of the match. Close your hands. Go! Oh! 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 Big hit there. And some excitement from the back. Yeah, he felt he oh! his groove. He's a real head for this now. Dramatic fashion. Where's the other strap? What a way to start. Look, have a look at this on the replay, and that is an easy pin. Seven round, yeah. For Raymond Lipinch. Textbook, all side, drive to the pad. Lipinch levels the score. 3-3, three, three. we go to the silver boat. Lawrence Charlotte, it's on. The and right now you can only see one man winning this, this match. It's a real, a real transformation from the early stages of this, this between these two. It's like watching two different men. Now look at him, he's joking, he's relaxed. Yes. You can see absolute evidence in Last one! the level of confidence that Ray has because he knows now that he can find what he needs. He knows that he's got the tools to unlock. Everything that Mazahir brought to the table, he's found a way around. 15 seconds. Now you're someone that's arm wrestled all over the world you against, start off you know, with a strap? in all different rules. It must be a horrible <laughs> feeling when you just feel like that power is gone from your yep. arm. Yeah, and yeah. It, it appears to have, have happened to Seydoux here. You know, we saw real quick attacking arm wrestling at the start of this match. Very, very intelligent arm wrestling by Roland. Good guys. And he just seems to have broken his opponent round by round. You'll hear any anyone in combat sports tell you that the worst thing, the worst place you can be, the worst experience you can have in a fight is to be tired in there. Arm wrestling is no different. If you what, lose the ability con to contest the match, you are in trouble. <laughs> it's a very, very dark place. Right now, Mazahir said who has nowhere else to go. And unfortunately for him, at this stage Elbows of the match, down, gentlemen. He not close. has not got the match experience or confidence to change up his game. It's still potentially winnable, close but he needs to make fundamental changes no moving, to the gentlemen. setup, to the position, to the degree he, of pronation. Even now, you can see yeah. the same process every single round. Exactly. No changes. And it's it's over. Over. But the wrist is totally gone there. And it, he sacrificed it there. We're going to the strap. And Leipzig is increasing control. Who would have said I would talk rolling? <laughs> Roy, Put your elbow down behind my hand just so I get the strap on. Two things. He does not like top rolls. He loves cats. <laughs> You're pushing him off center. I'm just trying to get the strap on right now. Roly Ray. Another victory Thumbs to take home. back home to his three cats in Latvia. Those cats are going to have missed him. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he looks uh, It looks like he's enjoying his day at the Conrad. He's got the strap, still needs to keep his mind on it, Shoulder doesn't back. want to be too complacent. Mazza here now, I mean, you know, a lot of people it's... jokingly called this Desperation Day because of the prominence of the King's move in the two headline athletes. Pushing him if up, I was so Mazza here's coach right you. now, it's the, it's the 90th yeah. minute, okay. send the goalkeeper in. <laughs> Literally. Throw Don't everything move. at him right now. It doesn't matter. Go for it. Jump on the gas. Jump on it hard it. because orthodox arm wrestling hasn't worked for him at this stage. No. Elbows down. Maybe Don't move. Maybe element of surprise. 100 mile an hour straight sideways may that? work. He needs something a little bit different. Elbow now. down. Yeah. You know what? Mazza here's put on a good performance. He's gone away close with uh, a closely contested match. Just and your he thumb. Just hold the strap. Really on brightly. You. Just a little bit too much experience. Came out like a rocket. Yes, he did. He, he arm wrestled great at the start. I must admit, there's a little confusion Open on my hands. part on Open what thumb. was happening with the scores because there was a couple of, for me, ghost fouls in there. I didn't see any infringement, but the referees have a better view of it than I do. They did see issues. Ray had the presence of mind to keep himself collected, focus on the job in hand. He did Open that. He forced the draw. So, uh, the silver ball. Here we go. Almost a dream Thumbs start down. to proceedings, Lost. Yeah. Really good match, but... 
Okay. He's still got John Stu, but he's, he's enjoyed this one so okay. far. You got one foul for your shoulder. Okay. Don't move. Mazza here he's is really back like this. Yeah, it's, it's me. I'm not no, he's here. not. I'm not here. I'm not there. Open. You bring that shoulder out one more time, I'm gonna give you another foul. Yeah. One last round. <laughs> Close go. the thumbs. Close the hands. Go! Ah! 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 You could see before that even got started, it was all over. Yeah, you got a feel for Mazza here at that stage. Uh, unfortunately, the lad just had given a little, you know, you can do no more. So sticky, the fuck is fucking working. Thank you, Dubai. He says he's been out there <laughs> working with Larry Wheels. We're going to see the product of that in just a moment, and I'm very excited to do so. But as we watch these replays, what that tells tonight is that Raymond's Lipins came up with a very complete game. So Sergio, yes, if I, I need you to be more active so I could see what's going on because I'm too into the match. Okay. Okay. So if I, if you see uh, so guys, if you see an elbow and no position gain, call run. Where we have okay. Schoolboy versus Larry Wheels. We started with a can, added 200, no 250, no 300 milligrams of natural caffeine, extracted from plants. Yeah, plants. So you could do this, but not this. Vitamins B3, B6, B12, you're welcome. BCAAs, that just happened. Plus electrolytes, because sweat it, and CoQ10, because we had room. And then we made it taste good, without the sugar. Now, go drink it. That's how we made rain, total, body, fuel. A lot of people ask me, hey, too, how do you get the belt? It looks more beautiful than most women in the world. Well, I'll give you a hint. I don't use my enemy's blood anymore to let on it. No, not even the cow's milk of the first harvest. I use something very unique that I found online, beard oil, from thebeardstruggle.com. Can you imagine how many lives I would have spared if I just found this sooner? <laughs> Okay, guys, we are back. We have just had an incredible first match and a fantastic comeback there by Raymonds. How did you see that one go? Did you see that from the start, that Raymonds would be able to come back from 3-0 down? Well, there's an old saying, isn't there, in football, it's a game of two halves. And we just saw that there also is that same thing in arm wrestling because that was definitely an experience of two halves for the guys at the table. We saw Mazahir Seydou off to an absolute flying start. He put his top roll down and he sighed through Ray with ease, to be perfectly honest. The second half of the match, we saw some great adjustments from Ray. He managed to shut down the space, got to the strap, and once the match hit the inside, it was all about the Latvian. Took over the match, and to be perfectly honest, 
halfway, he, he, he was unfortunate not to have won the match early or not to have got at least to the draw early. I thought the luck wasn't with him tonight with some of the, the calls. It didn't matter. He was confident. He was bristling from ear to ear and he owned that match. He seemed to really enjoy it. And now he's got another match to look forward to. His prodigy, the man he's been working with for the last six, seven weeks, a man that everyone has been watching and, and a real backbone to why this event is happening today, Mr. Larry Wheels taking on Schoolboy, one of the most popular names in all of arm wrestling. Let's see what happens now. This is just such a pivotal match, such an important match. I mean, it's the, it's the coming out party for a strength athlete. Someone with genuine strength pedigree. And Larry Wheels is definitely going to be watched by the strength world here. People want to see how Larry can do. They want to see if the experience that has been poured into him by Ray Lifinch is going to be worth anything. The moment to prove that is right now. And he's against a very difficult opponent. A really tricky opponent in schoolboy this is a big man for anybody out there who's watching the feed who isn't familiar with schoolboy please understand we're not talking about a small individual we're talking about a guy who is very very serious indeed he's six feet five inches tall 110 kilograms of him schoolboy is a wrecking ball he is a wolf in sheep's clothing and larry wheels is gonna need to get the brakes on him early the same scenario that we saw in the first match, and things have changed. This time, Larry Wheels has to do what Ray Lifinch did. Back over to our host. King of the table, in association with the Dubai Arm Wrestling Club. Big thank you to all of you for turning out down here in Dubai, and of course, all the tens of thousands tuning in across the globe. We'd love to have you here in the heart of the UAE as we bring you world-class arm wrestling straight to your homes. Match one has been done. Time now for match two. And time for an education. Just 21 years of age. He is quite simply a strength sensation. The man taking the world of arm wrestling uh, by, world by storm. He goes by the name of Alexander Toprol, but you, the world, know him as Schoolboy! Here we go, schoolboy, and he's under pressure here. The Russian athlete, extremely powerful, very, very elusive, and he's made to top roll. Six feet, five inches tall, and coming out there, you can see the stature of schoolboy. He may not look as physically impressive as Larry, however, he's got pedigree in the sport of arm wrestling, he's got experience in the sport of arm wrestling, and he starts here as a favourite. Oh, absolutely. And, and in terms of body weight, there's not much difference between them. Even though Larry is built like he was made out of granite rock, Schoolboy has that strength in all the right areas for arm wrestling. For this match number two of the King of the Table here in the heart of Dubai. It's time to ramp things up. It's time for wheels up from the United States of America, based right here in Dubai, where he has a huge following. He's taking strength to whole new levels, and it's time to wheels up. Welcome to the arena, Larry Wheels! Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Huge excitement surrounded the entry into the world of arm wrestling of an athlete from other strength disciplines with genuine pedigree. Enter Larry Wheels. Six foot one inch tall, and he looks like he's been carved from Zeus's tooth. This guy is powerful. There's the arms. He's flexing them already. I mean, the look. shoulders and the arm, the biceps, the triceps. But is it all show, or is this man a legitimate arm wrestler? We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Wheels. Attitudinally, this guy has shown that he's elite level. He has taken the lumps. He's literally worked as hard as any man could possibly have worked to get here. 
How much is it worth? We're about to find out. This is exciting. Gentlemen, this is a match that back, when you close your hand, we've okay, all been looking back. forward to seeing. The referee yeah. just going through a few yeah. final words with both athletes. Look how tall Schoolboy is. You He's can see now <laughs> that Schoolboy is a big boy, isn't he? You call that? Well, he's coming, he's the heavier <laughs> athlete, he's the taller athlete, he's got the leverage, obviously, I know. El musculature El was down. El was down. I guess is with Larry. Open. 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 But the experience, Open. even though he's young, is still with Schoolboy in this match. Without a doubt, Loss. And, and Larry is about to feel the Close your thumbs. He's about to get that first hit, and that's the important Do not move, gentlemen. Do not move. Early, Do not cover your knuckles when match. I close your hands. But he needs close your hands. It. He needs to slow Go! it down. He's laying down a message there. Schoolboy just took the hand and wrist of wheels and sat up. Little dominant. And that's that real Look match at the experience. There. Yeah. Look at the confidence. Ooh. Now, look at the distance between Larry's wrist and the arm of schoolboy he kept larry's arm at bay he created distance where there is none he hit into the hand of larry and then pronated hard and that creates a gap and that gap whilst it was only small increases his leverage exponentially as the match progresses and we saw the evidence of that there it was a crushing win for schoolboy 15 seconds he gentlemen outstanding now, Coach Ray is going to be working hard in Larry's corner, but my concern is, Time. with the best intention in the world, it's very difficult to get that kind, that level of expertise into anyone with practice alone. Oh, absolutely. There's, you know, in, in all sports, it's about being match ready. And this, this is, you know, jumping into the deep end for open. open. Actually, in terms of competitive experience, a novice. We all know how strong he is. You know, we, we've seen the lifts, we've seen the, the, the people he's been against. Close your hands. Do Go! not blink, ladies and gentlemen. Big drive! And that's the strap, and it was intentional. So do you think this can help, then? I do think road? it can help a great he's deal. Down, he's going to be able to access that. But my concern is that it's not going to help a great deal. I, I believe that, if anything, Schoolboy is more experienced in the strap sure. than he is outside of the strap. A lot of people... He's going to blaze through the hand and wrist in his everyday arm wrestling experiences. He is happy in the strap. Larry may not be. Okay, open, gentlemen. Center. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Now needs he to come in to win here. Big drive, but schoolboy still comfortable. Larry got a little purchase there, and this is better from Larry. Much better. But schoolboy again able to finish it. I'll tell you what, though. He got more respect better. from schoolboy that time. Yeah, that was far better. Much, much better from Larry. Uh, Schoolboy had a moment, a little moment of concern yeah, there, and he rushed the, himself. wasn't the same confidence that he had in the first round. Not at all. He drove hard himself, and he drove a little too early himself. But fundamentally, you can see the amount of effort having to be put in there by Schoolboy and having to be put in there by Larry. Yeah. And the difference is that Larry is on the absolute red line. He couldn't give any more. Do you think sometimes in that situation sometimes it's better to, to give up that round and, and come back a bit fresher on the next one or you know what Lawrence I don't believe that it would make any difference yeah. um, I think it's just purely and simply uh, the, the experience gap is vast this is Alex's brother with him there looking after him another great arm wrestler himself he is Alex Pazaykov is a, is a fabulous arm wrestler but the problem is that Okay. I don't think he, he needs to give much advice at this stage. I think I don't think there's a great deal that can happen that's going to make it any different. 
15 seconds, gentlemen. So they've got 15 seconds to hook up again. And now Larry's going to be one of taking every one of those seconds. Time. He really is, mate. Go. Um, Larry's going to be feeling it. He's really going to be feeling this big time. I guess that's one of the disadvantages of having such huge muscles is that you burn through that lactic acid quickly. Elbows down. Or the lactic acid builds up quickly. And in terms of endurance, you can lose that Center. power quickly. He, Open. Larry is used to powerlifting. One rep, all out explosive power. Okay. He wants to be winning these matches within a couple of seconds. Anything beyond that, Close he's going to drain quickly. Go! Big drive again from Larry, but nothing doing there. And schoolboy completely dominating the hand and wrist. You're, you're moving in front of the replay camera. Look at the hand dominance there, and, and, and what's most important there is how intuitive Schoolboy is. Yeah, you can he's, see. You can see that experience. He's not having to think through the movement. It's there for him. He's just moving, reacting, and he's already got control of the match. Strap, Larry is feeling his way in the dark. This is new territory for him, and it's extremely difficult for him to find a foothold in the match. The strap may assist, but at this point in time, that, that experience gap is the difference between these men. Do you think it would be good for someone like Larry, Open. who clearly has great Open potential, up. to enter some competitions and, and get experience against lots of different arm wrestlers? 100% lost. Um, what, what Larry's lacking is not strength, it's not physicality, it's not potential. He's got all of those things, but what he doesn't have is match feeling. He doesn't have familiarity with the position. Yeah. And that's what he's lacking here. And Risk. Schoolboy at this point in time has been able to put a, a couple of serious hits into him, take away all of Larry's power, Thumbs down. neutralize it in an instant, and from there, Risk. Larry's panicking and he's unable to recover his position. Close hands. When he does so, it's nothing like what he's experienced One in training. Foul. Okay. You feel Open. for Larry Wheels. I'd love to see him get something in this match. But He's facing Open. an extremely tricky opponent. Yeah, an experienced opponent that Close your thumbs. already has the height advantage, the weight advantage. Close your hands. And there's more <sighs> training in this. Oh, oh, fast hit there. Oh, yeah. big yeah. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> child of mine. <laughs> and unfortunately, Ooh. this is yeah, looking on, on, ominous yeah. right now. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to see Larry getting punished up there like that. He's just not able to... Uh, find a foothold um how many we got i feared that might be the case for him he's <laughs> schoolboy's an extremely okay. tricky I'm individual i'm keeping track of that so uh, what round is this the schoolboy needs to stay focused well, as well he doesn't want to you loosen track, up you know he doesn't want to let larry access that power because you know yeah, he's such a strong man time. so he needs to stay on top of him and hit hard he's doing exactly what he needs to do he really is. I mean, let's be honest. Schoolboy came came to Dubai to win an arm wrestling match, and right now yeah, sir, so uh, he's, he's doing exactly that. The, um, you know, the he's you, can, <laughs> you can't knock the, the man. He's doing exactly what he came to do, and he's doing it well, and he's doing it impressively. And right now, he's dismantling his opponent. Um, that was a comfortable victory. He, he, he what we call bone lined Larry. There, he took him out of position very, very early. Most arm wrestlers, when they start the sport, they're arm wrestling is done in straight lines it's done in lifting lines if you will the strength which you would believe is all time gentlemen and it's done in an isolated <laughs> manner it's not done in a joined way you're not oh, joining right. up the muscle groups it's like almost throwing an arm punch in boxing yeah. rather than twisting your body into the movement twisting utilizing the shape uh, that's what we're seeing here from Larry he just isn't able to piece the disparate elements together Thumbs down. Schoolboy. Close your hands. Cruising at the moment. Go! May slow it down a little bit. Dominates the hand again. It's over. And it's another quick win. Turning into a very, very difficult night for Larry Wills. We don't need an extra deal. In arm wrestling, even now he's got the win, they still finish yep. off the six for the show. No, matches. No, no, you know what? If I was schoolboy at this stage, I would just jump into a hook with Larry. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, he, he's nothing to lose. Yeah. He's already Test got the match. In a different I'd assist element. the guy. I would assist the guy at this stage, and I'd let Larry get where he's comfortable. 
Learn him have a, a, a little feel, get a little bit of movement and experience in there. And hopefully Alex does that. Hopefully he doesn't just whitewash it. I'd love to see him right now just jump into that hook, let Larry find his feet. I hope that Larry hasn't uh, put it too many miles on the clock and that he's unable to recover anything from the match, sure. you know, just get a feel from it. Because at the moment he's not had a chink of daylight and it's a little, it's a bit soul destroying. It's hard for anybody to swallow that and particularly for someone like Larry who is such a competitive individual in so many environments. I think it's important to understand that Larry is still very much a novice when it comes to this sport. Yeah. You know, it's it's easy for us to watch his YouTube and, let's and go. see him training with the likes of Devon or Michael Todd or whoever it might be. But in terms of competitive experience, he's hardly had a match. Were you on this and, side last time? You know, yeah. I know from the little bit no, of arm wrestling I've done myself, I've I'm looked at as a big strong man, so people expect this. Oh, is there is strap. so much to arm wrestling, but he still needs to learn. The both the agree to the strap. There, and hopefully this experience doesn't put him off too much. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. One of my concerns was exactly that. Uh, before the start of the match, I, I, I did feel that, that Schoolboy represents an extremely difficult opponent. Of all the opponents that, that could have been selected for Larry, um, Schoolboy is a very difficult one because he's an elusive opponent. He's not Open. the type of guy who is accessible and he's not the type of guy who is going to come into the position on the table that favours Larry or Larry's comfortable in. He, he's, he's an opposing style. You, you'd like to see Larry against, say, like a hook? I would. I'd like to see someone who'd come and meet Larry head on, allow him to use the power. You know, if you were... Uh, planning Larry's career Close for me, hand. I would put him against go! someone who's not going to take away his power. A little better, now you go. There so, you go. He's looking better this time. Yeah. Alex, Alex has done this on purpose. He's let, allowed Larry to get into the match. And he's letting him pull a little. Letting him try and find some position. But Alex is in control. Staying with it now and tightening down. And there's the pin. That was that was better. That's what you expected to happen. Yes, right? I did. And you can see, <laughs> you can see that Schoolboy is acknowledging there that Larry's got a lot of horsepower. But what's evident is Larry, even in that position, is moving away, moving out of his strength. And I think he may have damaged something there. He said he's done there. Yeah, I think he may have tweaked something there. What he what he means there is he's just he's he's gone to the absolute red line. Yeah. Past the elastic limit. Oh, I, I've, I've had a few sparring sessions and I've been there where you just have nothing left. I'm not sure we're going to see Larry contest the last round. I think he, he, uh, he may have tweaked something there. I know what he did in the last few months. Clearly, Schoolboy has been training hard these last few months. Yeah, Schoolboy's at uh, early 20s. He's actually younger than I thought he was. I thought he was like mid 20s. He's, he's early 20s, 21 years old. He's an evolving force himself. He's got to be an exciting prospect for us. Oh, without question, mate. I mean, you, you've got to remember with Schoolboy, this guy is coming up through one of the most difficult arm wrestling nations on earth. Russia is a dominant force in the world of arm wrestling. And to be perfectly honest, if you can make it in Russia, you're, you can make it anywhere. And Time, gentlemen. Schoolboy is the real deal. So final round. Yeah, I don't know again. whether we're going to see anything right. from uh, from Larry. So going straight I think, into I think, the strap. Yeah, I think um, Schoolboy will let it go anywhere now. I think he's going to allow Larry to pull. I, I would. <laughs> I think most most uh, most guys uh, with this kind of dominance in the match would have just allow Larry to to take it where he wants it and then sort of shape and move to him. And I hope that we see that from Schoolboy. I hope that he allows Larry to do that. Unfortunately, I think Larry's uh, gone to the bank. And uh, Open, there's gentlemen. not a lot left there now. Open. Schoolboy there, baby faced assassin. <laughs> Looks like um, he's literally just come back off his paper round, but to be perfectly <laughs> honest, the man is a serial killer. I think it, he was weighing in close to 280 pounds, I think. It's a big boy. Thumbs down. Let's Close see if he does allow Go! Larry to access this one. Uh, he's paid him, taking away the power this time. Larry has nothing in the match there. He just doesn't have there any purchase point. Um, 
I got a feel for Laurie Wheels there, Los. Um, it's hard to watch that. It's you tough. Know. But I, I think, like I said to you, Neil, it's important that we all understand that Larry is still very much a novice in this sport. Yeah. And it takes <laughs> years, <laughs> not just for the strength, because arm wrestling is a unique strength. Yeah. As yeah, well. so I mean, I people say it's all just technique. It's really not. The, the strength that some of these arm wrestlers have in certain areas. You know, if this was a powerlifting contest, Larry is going to wipe the floor with schoolboy. Yeah, you'd be looking at the same level of dominance that we've just seen from schoolboy on an arm wrestling table. Different skill set, different muscle groups that are used. What, you, what you've got to love about Larry Wheels, and, and, and I respect um, Larry far more than any other aspect of his game, is the man's attitude. I mean, it's faultless. It's, it's it, right? total honesty. You know? Uh, you can't knock the guy. You can hear him in the background now. Not that serious. And he's supremely honest. Definitely. Well done, Larry Wheels. My hat's come off to you, mate. Great performance there by Schoolboy and Larry. We are going to commercial breaks. We started with a can, added 200, no 250, no 300 milligrams of natural caffeine, extracted from plants. Yeah, plants. So you could do this, but not this. Vitamins B3, B6, B12, you're welcome. BCAAs, that just happened. Plus electrolytes, because sweat, and CoQ10, because we had room. And then we made it taste good, without the sugar. Now, go drink it. That's how we made rain, total, body, fuel. A lot of people ask me, hey, Tu, how do you get the belt that looks more beautiful than most women in the world? Well, I'll give you a hint. I don't use my enemy's blood anymore to laugh on it. No, not even the cow's milk of the first harvest. I use something very unique that I found online, Beard Oil, from thebeardstruggle.com. Can you imagine how many lives I would have spared if I just found this sooner? <laughs> Unfortunately, it, it, it did, Loz, yeah. I, I, it, it went the way that I... Um, I we, we had a, an episode of The Fix the other week uh, with Larry uh, and Adam. And I said my greatest concern there was the trickiness of Schoolboy, the technical manner in which he arm wrestles and in which he, 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 he thrives was not the kind of opponent that I would pick for an athlete like Larry. Um... Unfortunately, uh, he, he struggled tonight to find a groove in there. Um, it's horrible to watch, really, because I, I really wanted Larry to come out of, uh, of the match with something. 
he deserved to come out of the match with something. The man has, has worked so hard, so diligently. He's tried to pick everything up and he's looked so much better. It's almost like um, he tried to go for a very, very difficult opponent early in his career. And I hope that that has not damaged his confidence. I think that Larry can still get where he's going without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, I think the arm wrestling world should embrace guys like Larry Wheels. Welcome them in as they have done and continue to do so. Because when he gets a little more match experience and he can access that power better, he could have a very significant future in the sport. Just needs a few Without matches question. under his belt. Without question. He's got, uh, you know, if he stays involved with it, he's going to get better. He's going to make progress. Sure. But we have a big, big, exciting match coming up now. We're going to go to a interview now with one of our superstars of the events today. I am excited for this. Monster Michael Todd versus Devon No Limits Lurrett. It's going to be epic. I've been involved in high level world title matches countless times in my career but there's something special about this one it is the third match uh, we've each got one to me this is our defining match between the two of us what's different about this match to previous matches in regards to where I'm at with pressure and there's been a few times we've had two big matches like this previously the first time Devin was the champ and all the pressure was on him the second time we were fighting for the number one spot in North America and now Michael is considered to be the world champion. I think the pressure's all on me, but I did that to myself. I chose Devin. I chose the guy who some guys didn't consider to be at that level and I knew he could get there. You know, I knew that if I called Devin, I said, hey, are you, can you be ready for this match? And as soon as he said, hell yeah, I knew it was on. I knew I was going to get the best Devin. I've personally invested so much in the outcome of this match. I've changed my entire life around. So for me, this victory is so valuable. I've, I've, I've chased it so hard. I want this win very, very badly. I believe he's the biggest threat to me because he has so many options. And this 292 pound version of him, no one's ever seen before. But I thrive under pressure. The whole key to my victory will be in the strength of my hand. It'll be, it'll be in me being able to dominate the high spot. If I can make him drop his hand, lose his hand, I will control the technical battle. And that's what I need to do to win. The only way Devin Larrett beats me is if he's a level stronger than me. And I don't think that's the case. I honestly think I'm a level stronger than him. So as far as him coming out with this trick or that trick or doing something different, this preparation, that preparation, he's got a new game plan. None of that's gonna matter if he's not strong enough. Michael is fast, he's endurant, he's versatile, he doesn't quit. Uh, it will take a perfect performance for me to win. This is the strongest I've ever been. I have more offensive explosion than I've ever had in my life. And when they say go, expect violence. I am one of the athletes who can beat Michael. If I were to beat Michael, I would hold potentially the number one spot in the world. I am very excited about this match. I'm very excited to have Devin Larry as an opponent. But tonight, you're gonna see something truly special. Wow, that is too confident, men, Neil. Let's head over to our announcer. Can, can you take picture with her, too? Of course. King of the Table, in association with the World Arm Wrestling League. We're live from Dubai, live for the Conrad Dubai, and we are ready for the main event, the long-anticipated tiebreaker, the decider, if you like. One apiece between these two titans of the sport as they come together for the decider right here in Dubai. States versus Canada for match number three, our main event of the night to see who will be king of the table. And so join me in welcoming to the arena. Things are about to get scary. He is the current 
heavyweight champion of the world in this uh, extraordinary sport. He hails from Arkansas in the United States of America. Make some noise for the monster, Michael Todd. Here we go. It is on the main event. King of the Table live from the Conrad Hotel in Dubai. And monster, Michael Todd. The WAL Champion of the World, Arm Wars Champion of the World, PAL Champion of the World, 124 kilograms of him. And he looks focused, Lawrence Charley. He looks ready for this. He's been building up for this match for months now. He's been talking about it every day on his YouTube page. It's all he's thought about, beating Devin Larratt and being crowned as the number one potentially in the world. Looking at the stats there, six feet, three inches tall, into huge the individual. What a pleasure. It is going to get extreme because we have, quite simply, one of the greatest of all time in our presence. A man who has rewritten the books of arm wrestling during his glittering career. Please welcome to the arena from Canada, Devon No Limits, Larratt. The Conrad Hotel falls into darkness momentarily, but a light in the sport of arm wrestling is about to shine as he makes his way to the table. Ladies and gentlemen, no limits, Devon Larratt. The biggest version of this man we've ever seen. And as he makes his way through the dry ice, emphasizing his size, his stature. He wants Michael Todd to know that he came here to kill the monster. There's no messing about with Devon today. There's no mullet, there's no joking about. He is here to show he's one of the absolute best arm wrestlers on the planet. He sounds more focused, more confident than we've seen him in years. He's the biggest, he's been in almost 300 pounds. Those physical advantages evident there from the stats, six five of him. And the leverage advantages that Devon takes into almost any arm wrestling match. And look at him, emphasizing the size. He wants to show Michael how big he is. Yeah. Monster Michael <laughs> Todd, absolutely fearless. Open up, gentlemen. Already. Already. Oh, yeah. Here we go. For the yeah, fans of the sport no, no. watching around the world, be ready. It is Welcome about to, to get messy. Tighten no up your gentlemen. chin straps. Here we go. Don't the first hit will tell a story. Raise hands. Look for this to go to the straps. <laughs> you move first. No, I did not hit. He fucking went that way. I'm staying right in the middle. that way all day. You, you cannot call me on a foul when he's going all the way to the pad. Move, baby. Right. Sir, move. come here. The Devil Larratt there, the Silver Tongue Cavalier of Canada. And on top of that, Befriending the referee early. Yeah. I can't call anything. Hey, check this out. Did you see anything there? I, I didn't see anything. But... I don't know. What did you see, Neil? I read that he may have honest, seen something saw... there when the burn, so it's going to be a no call. We're going to try this one more time. All right, I right, saw nothing go. also. I'm with Bill Collins. I was just going to say I no saw nothing. No moving, gentlemen, until I say go. I let the men arm wrestle. No we'll more this to go to the straps. I expect Close your hands. it will. Go! Yeah! On the oh, way, and that's where we're going. I think we all expected that. That is a straight ball up. <laughs> Both the guys edging that little bit of the mind games in there. You're in so much trouble, Michael shouts to Devon Larratt. Both men Elbows want down, to be the alpha early up. in the match. Arm wrestling, the only on. sport in the world where a man can stand at the side of you and say, let's go and get the strap on, and it's normal. <laughs> Not prepared Lee, Lee enough, Rebecca. More than prepared, Devin. Not Larry. prepared enough. And these two both like the strap on, don't they? He's rising up in the strap, Rep. I'm just trying to get the strap on. Now then. Okay, 
As we listen to the guys backwards and forwards beating each other up, one thing that is going to be evident very, very early here, Lawrence. Make no mistake about it. The first five seconds after the hit will tell an enormous amount about tonight's Open. match. Watch his webbing, ref. Hang on, gentlemen. I'm just Michael to Todd, he claimed that he would finish the match early. Claimed that there was going to be a strength gap. <laughs> oh, yeah. May have put himself under a little bit of pressure by doing that. Devon Larratt needs to be able to hold the centre. And Devon right there Open just down. told Michael Todd tight, it's not the same guy, Open Mike. Down. It's on my hand. Tight, right there. Michael Open Todd down. believes he Open is down. not the same tight. version of him Open also. I want, okay, hang on. Let me there are two men that do not lack confidence. Yes, no, no. Right, right now, gentlemen. both of these men absolutely brimming right with confidence. Back. Both men feel right now that at this low? moment, they could back, climb back the wall yep. of the Conrad Hotel using only their lips. Close your thumbs. Who will Don't come move out guys, until I say go. Five seconds. Close your hands. After this hit, we'll get a lot. Yeah! Devin Larratt yeah! with a trace of <laughs> That's two, baby. That's one. No, you fouled earlier. No, that's no, no. one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold his hand up, bro. Michael Todd right. claiming it was two. Okay, open up. Open up. Yeah, I need we want to see these guys up. wrestling, yeah, don't we? Open. We don't want to see fouls yeah, please, dictating no. this contest. No, we definitely we don't want this to be signed on fouls. That's not what we came here to see. It's not what anybody came here to see. And uh, I don't think it's going to be. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Open, Devin. So this is completely different to our first two matches where you had quite friendly, you know, well-behaved gentlemen. <laughs> now you've got two men that are going to... Yeah. Th this is where the referee is going to have to work tonight. Yeah. Bill Collins right now has an extremely difficult hey, hey, job. Look at the focus on the face of Devon Larratt. Stop, dude, I haven't even done nothing yet. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I ain't even got the strap on yet. Oh, my God. It's so great. It's still not going to help. It's still not going to help. Back low. Okay. You guys need help. It's not you guys. I've done nothing. And I need a much tighter strap, ref. Michael looking for that strap not to close be as over your possible. knuckles. He wants to be able to move Devon's no, arm off centre, a long way off centre. No move until I say go. That, Devin, you got one foul. The press. This Close is your hands. Story. It's about to unfold. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, and away we go. The king of the table is on, and Devon Larratt has held centre, and from there he will start to climb. Start to bounce. Got a over here. Ominous signs right from Mr. Michael Todd early. Ominous ah! signs for Todd early. Oh, oh, oh. Michael Todd let that go. Okay. He asked, isn't he on the running foul? Bill Collins replied, yes. And he let it go. So we're still at zero. zero. That was a smart move from Monster Michael Todd, but. And it's a big but. On the start of the match, Devon didn't go anywhere, did he? Devon didn't go anywhere. I said earlier on today that if One. Devon can hold center and climb height, he has the capability to beat Michael probably more easily than anyone else Thumbs in the sport. Only, only. Only. A big statement there, like you, Mr. Neil Pickup. And he's there telling him he's going to make him quit. <laughs> pendulum of opportunity swings in the favor of no limits Devon Larratt. Michael Todd Open, will be asking himself a series of questions right now. He may have mistimed the hit. There may have been other nuances there that we aren't yet aware of. But if that was the case, we're about to be made aware of it very, very quickly. Because Michael will make that adjustment. A little closer. And we're going to see something very different now. Devon Larratt's confidence okay, I want you just guys right went right through the roof, ladies and gentlemen. And for people on Team Devon, Gentlemen, close your thumbs. Things are looking rosy. Do not way. cover your thumbs. He's leaning me that way, bro. He's leaning me that way. Push he me that held way. Held center. Push back to center. Push this to center. And then some. Close your hands. Go! into Michael's hand. There's a big drive, better from Todd. That's much better from Todd. 
but Devon has held centre and he's still oh, in this match. He'll continue to work that bounce and then look for the climb. Separation. Ooh. Great drive. Great drive from that. Excellent from Larratt. And Larratt is keeping his wrist also. Tom That's is in difficulty wrist. here. Real difficulty. Because now, Devon Larratt is not bleeding at the same rate as Michael Tom. Not even close. And all the time, he's chipping away at the confidence and he's going to finish this match. Look at the confidence there. Wow. Devon taking the first pin. And like you said at the start of that, he didn't give. I think we're expecting, you said at the start, you said to me before this, we went live on this, if Devon can hold him in the centre there, he can win this match. He and I also, strong. if you remember this afternoon, so said, Laws, that he Michael has the capability yeah, so to beat Michael easily, easily if he can find that position. Now, the greatest concern for Michael Todd right now, that was not difficult. Now, Michael has got to make some very, very tough decisions right now, but he needs to make them early. And that's going to be a real test for Mike, because for the last few years, Michael... Has been comfortable. Let's just trip. listen. <laughs> Always, be Always, baby. Now, that's just Devon trying to throw Michael off his game. Nothing more. Michael's professionalism needs to take over this match, and he needs to amend and adjust his position. Michael Todd at this stage needs to go back to a bit of orthodox Ooh, arm wrestling, and he needs to try and force. Devon into a position that he hasn't prepared for. Right now, everything is going to the script Devin shoulder, of Devon Devin Larry. In. It's working out exactly Devin as he wants it to. Right that arm right now. Well, go for Devin, it, I'm gonna. Then fucking I'm do it. Let's do it. Fairy tale start. For no limits, Listen. Devon Larry. Listen, Listen. hey. It's a perfect shoulder. start for him. Obviously, this match you know, we all heard Michael say he's gonna win this 6-0. So already that's going to be going in the processing in his head Bill Collins give the signal for the uh, straps so they're starting with the strap all I'm doing is no, getting the strap, strap. gentlemen so just relax for me thumbs down only so I guess we're expecting every single round to go to the strap with these yeah. two yeah I expect both men will want that Devin can you back shoulder until I get this on Monster Michael Todd needs to go to the well. Needs Open. to amend and adjust the position. Yeah, to push Marcel. He's not going to get what he's That's looking for from this match by trying to transition to anything like the extreme outsides. It, anything that he'd planned for coming here and breaking open, Devon. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. He needs to go back to the playbook hey, and down. think about potentially the other Open end down. of the spectrum that he dominates which would be the extreme press. What he needs to do is force the issue early. Force it now and make sure that he gets Devon Lara onto the B side. He needs to put Devon onto the B side and onto the B side like Otherwise, he is in danger of being run over. Gentlemen, square your shoulders. I'll pull my hand just move it back. You're pulling my hand. Rest, straighten up. Come on, guys, you know what there's going on. Devin Larry, bristling oh, with confidence, bristling with Thumbs desire. Thumbs down, gentlemen. The man Do looks not cover the knuckle. Super Don't close. human in that first start. Maybe close the hand. Michael Todd, Go! how bad do you want this? Big drive. Running foul for Michael. That's not good at all. And Devin is still in a good position. Now, Devin, interestingly, actually tried to close the gap a little there. And he's working hard on those lower fingers. That gives Mike the opportunity to make him bleed. He's so weak. He's so weak. Devin Lara. Wow. Wow. You don't see many people press through, Michael. That is so impressive from the Canadian. No limits, Devin Lara. Statement made, Lauren Charlotte. Huge. Statement made. Hey, Mike. I'm from. Look at that. 
Well, it might be. Confidence. <laughs> wow. Huh? No, at this point in time, Michael Todd will be asking himself more questions, potentially, than he's ever done in his arm wrestling career. So what's going through Michael's head right now? What's he thinking game plan wise? Michael okay. is very concerned at this stage. His game plan has collapsed like a pack of cards. And right now, he needs to go back to the drawing board. He needs to base himself. He needs to try and change up the technical aspects of the match. 15 seconds, gentlemen. 15 seconds. They're gonna take every one of those seconds again. Michael's ready. Michael clearly flustered. You can understand exactly why. Say it again. Square shoulders. Devin, stop yeah. looking for him to save you. Devin, it's Devin. unbecoming of a champion. <laughs> Whatever. Right? Shoulder. This is far as he can look at me. You're square. You strapping now? Ugh. Okay, Dylan, I'm just getting the strap on, so help me out here. Michael's confidence looks visibly drained from him there, Lost. I was just going to say this to you. Before this, and, and with most matches I see Michael, you see that confidence. He's almost there saying, oh yeah, you're doing great, Devon. That's unlike him. Yeah, very. Almost an air of subservience there from Michael. Could be reverse psychology. Surprise, surprise. very impressive. More, 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 please. More what? Like pull it down more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Well, I'm guessing both of these athletes. Want He's, actually strong. Strong. <laughs> He's actually pretty strong. He's actually pretty strong. Michael again saying how strong Devon is. Yeah. That's not hey, good. I'm all good. Uh, he, he means it, Lawrence. Um, Devon Lara has thrown Michael's game I don't dramatically. Open. Right now, Michael is questioning what options he has because he, he couldn't move Devon off centre. Not only was Devon strong enough to hold centre, he was dominant in centre. Thumbs down, gentlemen. No moving. Do not cover your thumb. Close your hands. Go! Oh yeah, Big drive. Ooh. He went for the drive there and it didn't. Dramatic drive from Michael, brave attempt. But the downside for Michael is that he couldn't. Oh, and he's conceded that one. Wow. Wow. He's got him beat. Remarkable, remarkable set of circumstances. Devon Larratt is taking over. Michael Todd looks really, really concerned. He looks shell-shocked. Now, is this, in your opinion, is this, Devon is that much better, or is Michael not looking his best? No, I think Devon's that much better. Um, there's nothing to, there's nothing that can be said at all. Uh, there's no possible area that you can fault Devon in. Devon is extraordinarily talented, and tonight, that is potentially the best version of Devon Lyot that we've ever seen. Heard of it, eh? Clearly Devon's come in to, to bring as much power as possible for this match. We've seen it, the, the pancakes, the, the talk of getting bigger. Yeah, He's always been a great arm wrestler. Absolutely, Loz. And you know what I really like about this as well? I, I, I'm going to say I love about this from Devon is that he's taken this back to orthodox arm wrestling, mate. They, this isn't, hands. He's not... Go! He's not winning via King's moving. He's not winning... He, he's, ah! he's, he's winning okay, on go. orthodox arm wrestling. And he look, look at the look at the yeah, integrity of the man's hand and yeah. wrist. Just looks... It's not sacrificed in any way. He's completely dominating the match there. He's, he's brave enough to hold on to Michael there. And he's not concerned about his wrist and hand being sacrificed. Michael Todd doesn't appear to have anywhere else to go and at this point he hasn't got the strap now Devon still dominant 
but he's waiting for a little gap. He's waiting for Michael's hand to open, at which point he could reverse the match. Right now he can't feel it. Now he's starting to apply. Potentially we could end up in a scrap here. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's a pin. That's a pin? Yes, that's a pin. Yeah, that wow. was... Yeah. That and was look how happy Devon is. And it was, it was a pin, and it was an exceptionally timed pin. Wow. And things we've got to bear in mind here, no one in recent times has run through Michael Todd like that. What do you want to do? No one. I've not seen it. We keep going, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm proud of you, dude. Michael Todd on his in and hats off to Michael Todd. He just said, I'm proud of you, dude. I mean, we've seen that they're good friends behind the scenes. Well, uh, let's give Michael some respect. He just said, I'm proud of you, dude. What, what, what do you want? What do you want him to say? That's right, that's it. You can't knock that down. Okay, just great sportsmanship, though. Remarkable. Look what it means to No Limits Devon Lyle. He's got 15 seconds. Second pin. Michael didn't think he could win. Well, we spoke to uh, Devon Lara this afternoon and it was extremely insu uh, insightful. Um, I told you the impact that had on me earlier today, Lawrence. Just don't hurt me, okay? I didn't expect this. I don't think anyone expected this. Devon Lara has looked truly exceptional. Truly exceptional. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And try to get in there. Ah, one far. One ball's down. Thumbs down only. <laughs> Devin, bring that shoulder in. Close your hands. Go! Michael Chubb with an enormous drive. Tries to reverse off the start. He went to the well for the inside technique and couldn't get any purchase there and I'll tell you wow. what wow. that's incredible I didn't even want that I didn't even want that I mean I, I didn't well, expect this we'll try to do you want left oh fuck Michael <laughs> Todd conceding that match they're doing a left I don't know what, what are you guys doing they're doing a left here. they're making up their own rules now right? I'll go left uh, just take it easy on my left I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll just hold you. I'll just hold I'll just hold yeah yeah I, I don't even understand what you guys look. You, you, that that shit, you guys want to do an expedition after this? Just let me know. He won. Okay. Woo! Hey, what are you wearing on the beach back? Fucking well, like a Superman hey. something. Per persistence prevails. These guys are going to try a left fails. hand match. Huh? Uh, I get these off. What do you think of this? That, that's what I used to do cardio. These guys. To be perfectly honest, I, I really, really feel for Michael. Um, he looks. Like I said, in a very I'm difficult somebody, spot <laughs> and I've never seen Michael look like that in a match I'm all so credit to, to Devon Lara I'm not sure why they've moved to left arm Thumbs very unusual only. pointless exercise Close in many hands. ways go <laughs> this got pin it yeah. I know but I don't see it there we go. All over. Never going to be close on the left arm, mate, to be perfectly honest. No, we know. Let's be honest tonight, it wasn't close on the right arm. Um, the story of the night is enormous shock. I, I'm still in shock at this result. I never thought. You know, I know Michael spoke about the 6-0 beforehand. Hey, I didn't think that would be the case. I thought it would be a battle between the two. But Devon has come in and absolutely thank blown him out Thank you so much. Uh, I guess the first people I'd like to thank is the UAE and Dubai. For, for letting us come together and celebrate life and fitness when so much of the world we can't do this. Uh, when I got the call from my good buddy Michael Todd four months ago, Oops. five months ago, <laughs> I was in a very bad place. Uh, uh, I got to say that Michael turned my life around. I feel like I was not in the best place and the shot at pulling a guy I love so much, who I hold in such high 
regard. They changed me. So thank you, and thank you, uh, Core Sports, and uh, especially Larry Wheels, even though you got crushed, Larry. <laughs> hey, I'm with you, I'm with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just, yeah. you just need, you just need more devious trainers. Coach Ray is way too whack. <laughs> <wild. laughs> Come on in, get the cameras. Hey, thank All you, right. thank oh, you so honestly, much. That was a show. You guys are showman. Dude, honestly. I'm gonna tell you guys, Devin just beat the absolute best version of me I've ever been. So there's wow. something special right here, guys. I, it means a lot that, that it helped change your life. It did. But I knew, I knew the call. Well, it's a Claymore. Hey, thanks for everybody who loves arm wrestling. Thanks for everybody who watched. Larry, I hope this is the beginning of something great. It was uh, a huge success. And with your guys, you have supported, so there will be more. There will be one, especially after everyone has seen this. There has to be more. This is amazing. It was awesome, dude. It was awesome. <laughs> man. Yeah, thank you guys again. Hey, awesome, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Appreciate it, buddy. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Congratulations, champ. Proud <laughs> <Got> you, buddy. <laughs> Super oh, positive I news there from Larry Wheels. Uh, coming in and confirming that his interest in, in, in arm wrestling remains <laughs> peak, but in the most dramatic fashion possible. Hey, hey, a win from Devon Lara. Hey, it's all good, man. Seriously, it's fun times. Oh, yeah? In a fashion no one expected loss. Absolutely. I mean, the star of the show. King of the table winner, Devon No Limits Lara. Potentially the number one in the world right now. I think that anyone who didn't watch that and get shivers down there is fine. Anyone who watched that and does not believe that Devon Larratt represents a threat to anyone in the world right now. In Dubai. That concludes the official wow. part of the evening. Do stick around uh, to catch up with the athletes themselves. All of them are still with us here in the arena. Again. Uh, to all of our viewers around the world, thanks very much indeed for tuning in and keep up to date with all the latest developments with Core Sports on the website. Until next time, good night. Truly remarkable, shocking event there. Um, world arm wrestling seeing potentially the best version of Devon Larratt that we have ever seen. He came in bigger, he came in ready. I think the mental focus and the game plan were evidenced dramatically we actually spoke to Devon earlier today didn't we and he just seemed in a really good place i mean look at, on the replay there Loz. look at the dominance that he had and as i said earlier in the in, in the stream perhaps the most pleasing element of this display this remarkable display from Devon lara and that's truly what this was it was a remarkable display was the fact that he took it back to orthodox grassroots arm wrestling. It was about, it wasn't about the King's move. It was about top end strength. It was about dominating and being versatile. Just remarkable. Devon Larratt has returned with a bang in Dubai, Lawrence Charlie. It's exciting to see some potential huge matches that could be put together in the future been a hell of an event finishing with i have to say it's it's been a shock he he I, I, i'm almost dumbfounded by how impressive that was by devon we've all said michael was the favorite but from that first minute as soon as they hit even before before the the fouls he just looked like he wasn't going anywhere michael todd said in his pre-match interview that you were going to see something truly truly special this evening how accurate he was we saw that and his name is No Limits, Devon Larratt. So good to see the respect between these two as well. Michael saying he beat the best version of him. It's been an incredible event. Neil, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Lawrence Shadow. We'll be back with more arm wrestling action, as Larry Wills has just said, in the near future. Take care, guys.